Welcome to AP Psychology Unit 4, Part 6. In this video, we'll explore the crucial role of motivation in understanding behavior and mental processes. Motivation drives us to act, guiding and sustaining our goal-oriented behaviors. By the end of this video, you'll understand why we do the things we do. We'll cover various theories and concepts to shed light on this complex topic, improving our understanding of not just psychology, but ourselves and others. So, let's dive in and unlock the mysteries behind what moves us to action. Let's dive into major theories of motivation, drive reduction theory, arousal theory, and self-determination theory. Drive reduction theory suggests our physiological needs create an aroused state, pushing us to restore balance or homeostasis. For example, feeling hungry drives you to eat, reducing that hunger. Arousal theory posits individuals strive to maintain an optimal arousal level. According to the yerkes dodson law, performance improves with arousal up to a point, after which it declines. Think of test taking, a bit of nervous energy sharpens focus, but too much can overwhelm. Self-determination theory highlights intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Intrinsic comes from within, like the joy of learning, whereas extrinsic is driven by external rewards. By understanding these theories, we grasp why we pursue certain goals and how different factors influence our motivation. Next, let's delve into how our physiological needs like hunger and thirst maintain homeostasis. Our bodies are designed to ensure balance and optimal function. Hunger prompts hormones like ghrelin to signal the brain, while leptin helps regulate energy balance. The pituitary gland and hypothalamus play key roles, ensuring stable glucose levels. Understanding these processes reveals the mechanisms driving our need for survival. Now, let's explore the role of rewards and incentives. Intrinsic motivation originates from personal satisfaction, while extrinsic motivation comes from external factors. Differentiating these motivators helps us set and achieve goals. Balancing them optimizes effort and enhances performance in various fields. Let's discuss instincts and sensation-seeking. Instincts are innate behaviors like self-protection. Sensation-seeking is the pursuit of novel, intense experiences. Understanding these helps us see how inherent instincts and the quest for thrilling experiences shape motivation and behavior. Next, we'll discuss Lewin's Motivational Conflicts Theory, which identifies three types of conflicts, approach-approach, approach-avoidance, and avoidance-avoidance. Approach approach involves choosing between two desirable outcomes, like a concert or sports event. Approach avoidance occurs when an option has both positive and negative aspects, like deciding on a dessert that may affect your diet. Avoidance avoidance is choosing between two undesirable options, such as cleaning your room or doing homework. Lewin's theory helps us understand the complexities behind our choices, influencing decision-making. Recognizing these conflicts helps navigate life, Let's examine how physiological needs and social factors influence our eating behavior. Our drive to eat is rooted in physiological needs like hunger. Hormones such as ghrelin and leptin regulate hunger and satiety. Social factors like belongingness and cultural norms significantly impact eating behavior. Understanding these influences provides insight into how motivation drives our eating habits as a complex interaction of physiological and social factors. Now, let's see how these theories apply in real-life scenarios. For instance, a student driven by both intrinsic and extrinsic motivation can excel in school. In the workplace, understanding the balance between rewards and incentives can improve productivity and job satisfaction. Even in personal goals like fitness, applying arousal theory helps in maintaining an optimal level of excitement for consistent workouts. Recognizing our physiological needs, instincts, and social impact allows for informed decisions aligning with our motivations for better outcomes. Overall, these theories are not just academic concepts, but valuable tools enhancing various aspects of our lives. All right, let's test your understanding with some true or false questions. True or false? Drive reduction theory suggests physiological needs create an aroused state driving us to reduce that need. True or false? Arousal theory posits performance improves with arousal indefinitely. True or false? Intrinsic motivation is driven by external rewards like grades or money. True or false? Sensation seeking theory suggests some individuals have a higher need for arousal and seek thrilling experiences. 
true or false, Lewin's motivational conflicts theory includes approach-approach, approach-avoidance, and avoidance-avoidance conflicts. In conclusion, we've journeyed through the fascinating landscape of motivation. We've explored theories like drive reduction, arousal, and self-determination to understand why we do what we do. We've delved into how physiological needs and homeostasis play critical roles. Moreover, we discussed intrinsic and extrinsic rewards, instincts, and sensation-seeking behaviors. Lewin's motivational conflicts theory gave us insights into decision-making complexities. We've also looked at how physiological and social factors shape eating behaviors. Understanding these concepts helps us apply them in daily life, enhancing choices, and achieving goals. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.